Good evening. First, I uh, would just like to reassure the Prime Minister, this is the third event in the past six weeks, six weeks that I've attended with him. I am not following him all over the world. <laughs> I do have a real job that I have to do, so just wanted to assure him of that. But uh, one, I want to thank John uh, for emceeing this event, but also to congratulate the uh, winners of tonight of course, congratulate uh, the GAP and Art Pack. They have really created a culture that's focusing on equality and focusing on engagement. They should be recognized for that. <laughs> also, would like to thank Deborah for, for the one, this amazing event, but much more importantly, as everyone knows, for the work that they are doing around the world to encourage more women uh, leadership and more engagement in order to, to help women become more and more involved in, in taking on bigger roles. So UPS is very proud to join you in that mission. We've been supportive of, uh, of Catalyst for over 20 years now. And we have one of my uh, direct reports, Teresa Finley, that is on the advice, that chairs the advisory board. So this organization means a lot to us. Anyway. At UPS, diversity and inclusion is a core value that, uh, that is very, very important to us, but it's also a business imperative too. It just makes sense to do. And uh, we do it for the right reasons and it has become a way of life and just like many companies in this room, we've made a lot of progress, but there's still much work to be done. And I am sure with the efforts of all of us, and as we pass that message on to other companies and other organizations, that 10 years from now, we will be able to laugh at where we were 10 years ago and be proud of the progress that we have made. So thank you very much. <laughs>